Disney reporting better than expected second quarter earnings amid concerns the media giant could get locked in a bidding war with Comcast for the entertainment assets of 21st Century Fox. Bloomberg's David Weston is standing by with more. David. Thanks so much, Julie. Yes, we are honored to have the chairman and CEO of the Walt Disney Company with us now, Bob Iger. Bob, welcome. Thanks for coming back. Thank you, David. So first of all, Pleasure. you you had a really good earnings call, as we just said. You beat on uh, expectations, both earnings per share and revenue. I think probably as important for you, the comparisons year over year are pretty dramatic. Yes, we had a great quarter. We just had a great quarter overall as a company led by the studio and parks and resorts. And, and not only do we feel great about that performance, but we feel great about our momentum. What, what's the highlight for you? Well, the highlight for me is, uh, you know, seeing how people are reacting to uh, the stories that we're telling, the great intellectual property. Obviously, Black Panther was a huge highlight. But as everybody knows, we leverage our intellectual property across all of our businesses, so parks and resorts, which has, uh, you know, achieved real operational excellence, is also taking great advantage of that intellectual property, and it, it works around the world. So the highlight for me, obviously, in the quarter was Black Panther, but just seeing how our businesses are, um, are, are basically, you know, taking advantage of or leveraging intellectual property creation and success is certainly heartwarming. So you've got a great set of assets there at the Walt Disney Company, and you're executing well on them. You want some more assets, uh, and you've decided that you want to buy a fair amount of 21st Century Fox's assets. Tell me, is that a necessary acquisition for Disney, or is it just nice? Well, it's more than just nice, um, but I'm not sure I would put it in the category of absolutely necessary in the sense that this company is a company that has great assets already and that is thriving and has, I think, all kinds of opportunity, even in a media landscape or a media world that is transforming itself right before our eyes. That said, we believe in uh, increasing our intellectual property profile as a company. We believe in increasing the technology that we have as a company that enables us to reach more people in more compelling ways. And we believe in diversifying more geographically and those Fox assets achieve all three things. So if you look at the combination of the two, meaning the 21st century Fox assets that we're buying and the Disney assets that we already have, and then you consider all the changes that we're seeing in, in the media landscape, we think that there's a very, very compelling proposition for the shareholders of both the Walt Disney Company and of uh, 21st Century Fox, which is why the 21st Century Fox board uh, gave the deal that we made unanimous approval. Right, so you and have why a... why we actually are confident that ultimately right. it'll go forward. Well, you, as I say, you have a deal in place, as you say, ratified by the, by the board. At the same time, you need shareholder approval, you need regulatory approval, and there's some, some other Correct. people uh, expressing some interest, I think it's fair to say, in the form of Comcast, <laughs> who might be a rival. Uh, are those assets worth more to the Walt Disney Company than they are to Comcast? Not something I can speculate about, David. I, I frankly, I, I, I'd prefer not to speculate about either what they're doing, because there are no announcements made today, or why they're doing it. I just know that those assets are a great fit for the Walt Disney Company. And the currency that we're using, the Disney stock, when you consider the value of the combined entity, is very attractive to shareholders. And the shareholders of both Disney, which will vote on it, and Fox, we believe will look at this quite favorably. You've made a number of very successful deals. You're heralded for that as a CEO. None so big as this Thank one that you. you're talking about. Uh, and as far as I know, none of those deals, Pixar, Marvel, Lucas, involved open bidding with someone else. It appears that there's a possibility now that Comcast might come in and openly bid. Are you prepared to go into an auction? You and I worked for Tom Murphy back at Cap Cities, and he used to say he never won an auction because the last 10% of the price <laughs> was ego. How do you make sure it's not ego in the last 10%? Look, I don't want to in any way sound uh, naive at all or, or optimistic to a fault, except that I, I'm, 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 I think it's way too early to speculate that this is going to result in an auction. And I, I think I'll just leave it at that. I want to go back to a couple of things. First of all, if you're shareholders of the company that is being bought, in this case, 21st Century Fox, you have to consider not just the total price, but you have to consider the value of the currency of the combined entity. That's first. The other thing you have to consider is what is the path to regulatory approval? Is this a deal that you believe that regulators around the world, because around the world is very important here, are going to ultimately approve? And we believe, we're actually quite confident, that we will gain that approval. 
And I think if you then look at that versus another offer, whatever that is, either in terms of money or in terms of its source, you have to hold that up against our offer, not again just on value, but against the real possibility of it happening. And we believe that we're offering shareholders in, in both for both companies an outstandingly positive or attractive proposition. Okay, Bob, I have to let you go, but I want to ask you, you still have as much fun as when you used to come in and get the overnights on the, on the latest debut of an entertainment program? David, running the Walt Disney Company, even in a world that has get, gotten more challenged, is one of the you know, greatest experiences anyone could ever have. I love what I do. I love the people that I work with. And look, nothing's better than waking up on the morning after you've opened a big movie, whether it's Infinity War or Black Panther, and right. seeing how the world has reacted to it and how positively uh, people are reacting to it. It's a great feeling. Okay, Bob, thank, thank you, you so much. That's Bob Iger. He's the chairman and CEO of the Walt Disney Company.